Well, let's bring into the conversation now somebody whose ears are undoubtedly burning as we keep talking about the Biden campaign. <laughs> Biden campaign senior advisor Ron Klain uh, is here with us now. Ron, thank you so much for, for making time. Um, first of all, we're sorry to talk about you behind your back, but <laughs> our perception here uh, at, among us at MSNBC is that you guys haven't raised unnecessary expectations or unreasonable expectations. And things, as fraught as they may feel, are sort of going to plan in terms of how you are going to get to 270. Yeah, Rachel, I mean, I, I, I appreciate what Nicole said as a very experienced campaign operative herself. Uh, we had a plan to win this race. It was a battle for the soul of America. There was no one in the Biden campaign who thought this would be easy. As Vice President Biden said today, only three times in a century has an incumbent president been defeated. It's super hard to do. And so we knew this was going to be a very, very difficult race. We focused on those three core Midwestern states, uh, trying to also pick up Arizona, which it looks like we have done, uh, holding on to uh, the states that the Democrats won in 2016, and playing hard in some other states. I think we're going to be very close. Maybe we'll even win Georgia. So we've executed the campaign plan we had. And I think that when all the votes are counted, Joe Biden will, in fact, be the next president of the United States. Tell me about the legal fights that the Trump campaign is already mounting to try to stop the vote count uh, in both Michigan and Pennsylvania. We've heard expressions of confidence um, from your top legal guy, Bob Bauer, saying that yeah. this will be an embarrassing legal flop for the Trump campaign if they really try to stop these counts. Tell us about how you're planning on approaching that and how serious you view those legal challenges. Well, look, Rachel, they are both baseless and stupid. They're baseless in the sense that they have no legal basis at all. They're stupid in the sense that one of the states where Trump is suing to stop the vote count is Michigan, where he is behind. So if the vote count stops, we win. So it's a particularly <laughs> ridiculous legal strategy in the state of Michigan. Look in the state of Pennsylvania, as Steve said at the top of the hour. Donald Trump had a formidable lead this morning. Two thirds of it has gone away over the course of today. And we believe we are on track to win that state by 100,000 votes or more. So the, the point we have been making throughout this entire period since the polls closed is that the votes have to be counted. That's the Democratic way. They are being counted in an orderly way. Trump has no real legal challenge to that at all. Uh, you saw from the report in, in Pennsylvania, people can watch the count on closed circuit television. There's nothing mysterious. There's nothing secret here. Uh, we're, we're seeing democracy in action. Sure, it takes longer than we want. We live in a society where we all want the answer right away. And I thought Joy's points earlier are very moving, very powerful. But in the end, uh, the right outcome will be achieved here. In the end, this campaign will be successful. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president of the United States. And this country will change direction because of that win. And whether that win is 270 or 290 electoral votes or more, wherever it is, it's a win. It ousts Donald Trump in the White House and it puts our country on a chance to heal and move forward again. That's what Biden and Harris ran on. That's what they're offering. That's what they're going to deliver. Ron, let me ask you one last last question. I think that a lot of what people are worried about at this point, even if they have confidence that the ultimate electoral vote is going to go one way or the other, uh, is the prospect of chaos. And there was some scary footage today out of Michigan when Trump supporters, self-declared poll observers, essentially tried to storm the site where counting was happening um, at the center in, in Detroit where absentee ballots were being tallied. Uh, one of the things that I always find comforting and when I worry about prospects, unsettling prospects like that in politics is, is when we sometimes learn that during these chaotic moments, during these big fights, the two campaigns were actually behind the scenes in contact with one another, that there was a, a, a red phone somewhere where the two campaign staffs could at least talk and have real conversations with one another, even as the fights got, got heated. Is that happening between you and the Trump campaign or the White House? Uh, no, it's not, Rachel. What I'll say is what we are seeing, though, is that local officials are doing an excellent job of handling these flare ups. Yes, I, I saw the same footage you did from Michigan, but the local law enforcement uh, handled it very quickly. The local election authorities handled it very quickly. The count wasn't really meaningfully disrupted and uh, the count proceeds. And so, look, I think that uh, we have a system that is working. The system is working to count the votes. It's producing results relatively quickly here on the timeline uh, that we all expected uh, a couple days. And uh, I think that uh, there are going to be incidents. Hopefully there'll be fewer incidents and no incidents, I hope. But I think we uh, have the safeguards in place to make sure those incidents don't disrupt the lawful and orderly counting of votes. Biden campaign senior advisor, former chief of staff, Vice President Biden, Ron Klain. Ron, thank you for, for taking time. I know you're not getting any sleep uh, and your time's precious right now. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Rachel.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.